Lucy and I get to work constructing a large tinfoil boat. Our first design is just sort of a square, folded together out of a very large sheet of tinfoil. Simple, but can I ride in it? First test, does it float on its own? Yeah, floats on its own, no problem. If I just get in very carefully, then it will work fine. See, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm careful about how I get in, no, it's, it's fine. See, if I just get in like that. Oh my, Bill, Bill, are you okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's sort of, it's sort of, no, that's just air. You know what went wrong? It wasn't boat shaped. I think if we make it look more like a canoe, because canoes float, if we make it look like a canoe, it'll work great. No, 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 Phil. We need some support. If we add a couple of structures in between, then we add support to it. I'll tell you what. Let's make a boat like I want to make and a boat like you want to make, and we'll see whose is the best. All right. All right, here we go. Did it work? No. OK, your idea next. Husnia's idea is to make a tinfoil boat and add some more structure, because the tinfoil just wants to collapse when I get in it. So we start with a large piece of cardboard on the bottom, then we wrap the tinfoil around it and shape it into a boat. After that, we add some supports across the top to stop it from folding in when we add my weight to it. This boat feels a lot stronger than the one I was just in. I told you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> it's sort of working. Oh no, oh no, water's coming in. It's sort of working. It's almost working. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, go. No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 This time, we made a much larger boat. We started with a sheet of cardboard, then wrapped the tinfoil around and added some metal supports taped to the cardboard across the boat this way to make ribs, as well as some other supporting pieces in the front and the back. Then another metal rod all the way around the top and finally supports across the middle. All right, feel how strong it is. I'm really excited about this version of the tinfoil boat. What we did is we used thwarts, uh, big hard pieces of wood that we did last time, but this time we have ribs. Ribs, right, which are made of a cardboard, a metal rod attached to it, and... And shaped, and we did a whole bunch of them in the, go the whole length of the boat. And then we used all of this bendable metal, and we have one that runs all the way around the gunnels, and a whole bunch that run down the inside, and we even used bike fenders at the front and the back of the boat to give it super rigidity so that it hopefully won't go like all the other boats have done so far. Are you ready, Husnia? Let's do this. One, two, three, lift. All right, let me get over. It floats, but that doesn't tell us anything because they've all floated at this point. It's only when I, I get into it. Okay, here we go. Hey! Hey, it works! Whoa. All right. Oh, it's working! <laughs> Look at that! It works perfectly! The tinfoil boat experiment has been done. Science Max, experiments at large. What do you think, Lucia? The only reason I got into this boat is because I knew it's going to work. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. <laughs>